Welcome back to Hacker and this latest edition of Ice Hockey UK TV in association with SMP Europe. Wednesday at the tournament, a rest day for Great Britain. They did have a full practice as well as the official team photo, which you've already been able to see on our social media. Wednesday afternoon was rest and recovery. Players had some free time as well to get ready for a double header starting tonight, Thursday, against Mexico. Elsewhere on this channel, you can also see an interview we did with UK referee Holly Neenan. She's here at this tournament getting her first international hockey since the pandemic pause. And now we have a great interview, a sit-down chat we did with defender Sarah Hutchinson. First of all, the tournament this week, Sarah, rest day today after an important couple of, couple of games, important to rest and recover and prepare for a double header to finish off. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, the schedule for these games has been different for us from previous World Championships. We've only had been... Uh, five teams in this one um, so we've had obviously game rest day game rest day finishing with two difficult games I think um, obviously we had a big game with Spain um, we've seen the result this afternoon with Latvia and Chinese Taipei could have done us some favours um, but two big games coming up that I think today's rest day has been crucial girls have we've trained well this morning um, you know, it's just fine tuning during these training sessions, you know, understanding how we're feeling and um, people getting treatment if they need that and just resting, doing what we need to do to make sure we're flying into the next two games. Yeah, because the, the Spain game was, it was obviously a big game, but from the outside, a very physical game as well. There's a lot of, there's a lot of contact and a lot of kind of action around the boards and that kind of takes its toll after a game. Yeah, definitely. I mean, international is always another level up. Um, you know, women's hockey is non-checking, but hockey is a contact game, so it's always going to be um, rougher and tougher at these games. Um, you know, and you start to feel that as the week goes on. And um, so, going back to the rest days, it's just important that we are resting those sort of like bumps we pick up along the way. You know, some of the girls put their bodies on the line every game, and it's just great to see. And the the two games that were two good wins, the win against Chinese Taipei came out flying. Spain was a different kind of win, you had to grind it out, but six points from two games, you couldn't really ask for anything more? No, absolutely not. I mean, that game with Spain, I think, showed so much belief in the team. Um, obviously, I've been around the programme for a little while now, and to, to feel what it was like on the bench um, when it's 1-1, you know, one, one, and then the clock's ticking down, there's penalties, there's power plays, it, that, that's what we play for. And to then come out with the result after many times of the result going in the yeah. other team's favour. It's quite emotional, actually, and there's a lot of girls afterwards that we really felt that. Um, you know, there were things that we can work on from that game, and we keep learning, keep improving. But um, it was a huge game, that, for yeah. self-belief, confidence across the team, and just to see that really come through and get the result that we deserve um, was great. And at that time, that was said, a few people said that after the, after the game, a GB team in, in years gone by, perhaps, wouldn't have kept going for 60 minutes and they wouldn't have got that big result. So it shows that whatever's do, being done behind the scenes is, is working and the, and the team's going for the full 60 and they do have that strong belief. Yeah, everyone's bought in. Um, it's a good group of girls. You know, it, people sit, but it doesn't mean that they've not contributed to that game. You know, the atmosphere is great and people... We, I think one of the biggest things is that we are doing our roles within the team. We know what we're playing. We know what's expected of us. Mm -hmm. And we do that. We do 45, 60 second shifts. And then it's the next line out. And that momentum just built throughout the game yesterday, I think. Yeah. That's something that we touched on before we start recording. The, the, the way the programme has possibly developed over the last few years, the, the COVID pause maybe is a part, but um, and particularly coming up the, the Olympic qualifiers and, and these championships, the preparation that you've had in terms of on ice camps, off ice support, uh, would you say it's been the best you can remember since you've been with the GB programme? Since I've been in the programme, yeah, you know, we've had some great support over the years, and there's no dispute in that. Um, this, I feel, since started starting back in what, July before the pre Olympics, um, had quite a different feel to it. I think even just um, training out of the NIC is a big thing. You know, you're on an arena ice, you've got good facilities there. Um, and obviously having the Olympic qualifiers in this year was a great building block yeah. for the world champs. And then we've had obviously the camp in Slough before coming out here. And that's probably one of the best preparations I've seen whilst I've been in the programme. 
you know, those three days that we had, being on the ice twice a day, finishing it with a game. Can't ask for much more with where we are at with ice hockey in the UK, especially in the women's game. Yeah. Um, it's been great. It's been great to feel that support and sort of the backing um, by the coaches, by the off ice team as well. And obviously, a big shout out to Deb, who uh, I think has uh, done a fair share of organising for us this week, both in Slough and while we've been out here. Yeah. And you talk about that, that off ice, the, we've got the coaches here, the sort of David, goalie coach, Mike, the head coach, here, the assistant coaches. But behind that as well, you've got, you've got off ice kind of fitness, strength and conditioning, you've got kind of support for the, the mental approach to the to the, to the game. Um, this week we've got two rehab physios coming out as well, so the off-ice side as well is, is really important as, as, as the on-ice. Yeah, definitely, we're getting that like holistic approach to it now, you know, with years one guy, we've had the S&C, uh, which is great, it's crucial as well, and um, I think we've had great buy-in to that um, within this squad, um, there's a great atmosphere around it you know we've got a whatsapp group and people are putting stuff in there and people are working on their own stuff that are maybe training in slightly different ways and that's been supported too by jack our snc guy which is great any questions we've got we go to him and then in terms of the mindset stuff a um, huge part of the game that from my experience we haven't always tuned into um, in previous uh, years gone by and then when the physio is just having emma and Krebin. Both of them are they're a great team, and I don't yeah. think there's nothing that we uh, can't ask of them, uh, and nothing they're not willing to do to make sure that we're ready to go on the ice come game day. Yeah, and things like that, the the off ice, the additional thing that people maybe don't see, it doesn't, it's not as, as obvious in the in the end product. Um, a huge shout out to the to the backing that's had from the program, because of the, like, the sponsorship from SMP and. They're coming on board from the Dun Dumfries tournament last last tournament we had. Yeah. Their support initially through the Lucas brand, but now SMP Europe, huge supporters of GB, but particularly the women's program. It's great to see. It's great to get that back in. Obviously, I my last um, world was in Maribor in Slovenia, and um, before those guys came on board, I think, um, and th there is a clear difference in the support that we've got from how much we're able to get on the ice, the camps that we've got, um, and like I say, referring back to the Slough camp, having that block of time. And knowing that support has been there, sort of like with the team and with the, like the financial backing. Mm -hmm. You know, women's hockey in the UK is not massive, so those people are crucial to us. And you know, it instills that belief in us that what we're doing is going to make a difference. I know SMP came and talked to us after the qualifiers game, after the career game, and you could really see what that meant. Yeah. Um, really could see what that meant to him, um, and it's just great to know that. All the hard work uh, is being supported, and it's hopefully building women's ho hockey in yeah. this country. I mean, one of the big things of the Nottingham tournament, obviously the, the crowds, the, the support from the stands, but the even the little things like the the warm up jersey supporting the breast cancer cause, which is important to to Robert Martin at, yeah. at SMP. Um, but even the, the kind of traction that that got with the wider public, it's little things like that that get the women's game noticed, that get it the support, that get it the the publicity that it needs to help it grow and it's kind of a, a self-fulfilling thing once you get it grown hopefully it'll come back bigger the next time yeah absolutely it's about getting it seen you know ice hockey in the uk is it's a minority sport anyway men's and women's let's face it you know across all the sports that we've got um and yeah the the breast cancer was i think i touched a lot of the players you know it's a huge thing that touched many family um, and then for us to obviously be able to do that and represent it and we still see it in the clubs that we go back to you know there's young girls that have bought those shirts there's you know there's mums there's grandmas that have got those shirts because yeah. it means something but it's also getting the message out there that we're here and we're doing good stuff yeah back to the here and now um as we said wednesday night two games to go it's mexico first we played them the last tournament in, in dumfries it was a, as, as as is at this level every game is a, a, a tough game you're expecting nothing different tomorrow? Just keep doing the same. It's working for us. Um, you know, we've been fine tuning on practice and I think we're ready to just go hard for another 60 minutes and get that win.